We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are... Finding signs of life on Mars has always been one of rovers' missions, sent to the surface of the red planet. Some observations from these rovers help scientists identify microbial features that suggest that we are not the only planet in the solar system that hosts life. Hey there guys, and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will discuss as to why signs of life on Mars remain so mysterious. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Mars next to Earth is the most well-studied planet in our solar system. With all rover visitors there, it's a world that's too dry, cold, and illuminated to support the conspiracy-triggered humanoids and tentacled invaders envisioned in science fiction. But a trip to Mars opened the window to the deep past of the red planet when conditions were far more favorable to life. The quest for life on Mars has only lasted for decades, but our interest in life on Mars is centuries old. The concept of Mars has captured our imagination since scientists realized that Mars is a planet similar to Earth. Many of the myths of civilization and the little green man have been dispelled, but it is still possible that life once existed on Mars. As our knowledge of the red planet evolved, so did our thinking about what life would look like on Mars. All life we know requires liquid water. There is ample evidence that liquid water can flow and collect on the surface of Mars, allowing life to settle on Mars. The first evidence of life on Earth can be found in rocks formed about 3.5 billion years ago. It may take up to a billion years for life to be established on Earth, but it may have happened earlier. Therefore, scientists believe this is a reasonable time frame for Mars as well. Many conditions on Mars would have been suitable for life for about 500 million years before the Martian environment became colder and drier. However, the characteristics of Mars suggest that after the first 500 million years, there were occasional warm and moist periods, and that there may have been a paradise of life such as humid areas near warm volcanic areas. The concept of life on Mars, the subject of scientific speculation, began to attract attention thanks to the invention of the modern telescope in the 18th century. In 1610, Galileo was the first astronomer to see Mars with his own telescope. However, it was not until the 17th century that telescopes had the resolution to see surface features. From 1704 to 1719, Italian astronomer Giacomo Miraldi observed Mars from the Paris Observatory. After spotting what he described as white spots, he began speculating that he was looking at ice caps. Between 1777 and 1783, British astronomer Royal Sir William Herschel studied Mars using telescopes he made his own. Scientists will continue to strive to find suitable conditions for living on Mars. NASA has successfully completed both orbital and landing missions to the Red Planet. The first successful missions, Mariner 4, 6, 7, and 9, launched in the 1960s and early 1970s, were the first spacecraft to capture and broadcast short-range images of Mars. In the 1990s, NASA scientists announced the organic molecules contained in Martian meteorites, the characteristics of minerals that may have arisen from biological activity and the existence of microscopic fossils of organisms such as primitive bacteria. They interpreted the features as being formed on Mars over 3.6 billion years ago, and as evidence that life existed on Mars. The Mars Exploration Rover, called Spirit and Opportunity, landed on the Red Planet in January 2004, as part of a three-month mission looking for signs of past water activity on Mars. Both rovers are far beyond the mission's goals and expectations, making important discoveries about the humid environment of Mars in the past and perhaps now. In a new study published earlier this year in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the research team found 20 powder rocks that Curiosity collected with percussion drills. From various locations between August 2012 and July 2021, rovers supplied this substance to SAM. SAM identifies and characterizes organic matter, which is a carbonaceous molecule that is a component of life on Earth. Scientists have found that nearly half of these samples are rich in light carbon-12, among the two stable carbon isotopes, compared to previous measurements of Martian meteorites and the atmosphere of Mars. Some recent observations by rover on the red planet may contain microbial characteristics. This may indicate that the Earth is not the only haven of life in our solar system. NASA's curious nomads have seen a mixture of carbon isotopes in Gale Crater rocks as seen on Earth. Signs of Life rover also saw a random seasonal rise in methane, a gas on Earth that is primarily biological. 
NASA's Perseverance rover, located about 2,300 miles away in the Yezero crater, spies on a strange purple coating on the rocks on the crater floor. These coatings are widespread and resemble desert varnishes on Earth that grow in the presence of microorganisms. Curiosity took this selfie at a place named Mary Anning, named after the 19th century British paleontologist. Rover snapped three rock samples excavated there as he left the Glen Torridon area. Scientists believe that ancient conditions may have been beneficial to life. Well, could Mars host life now? Robot explorers on Mars have collected countless discoveries about the red planet, but have never found any clear signs of the creatures that are believed to live there. Life is unlikely on the surface of Mars, at least as we know it on Earth. There is evidence that liquid water is trapped in an underground reservoir, so it is possible that a sunless ecosystem is lurking there. If these habitats are present, they are outside the direct range of our rover and lander. The discovery of life on Mars in the form of ancient fossils or underground reservoirs will be one of the most significant breakthroughs in human history. But at this point, scientists are not ready to conclude that our vermilion neighbor once lived. Almost all intriguing clues to biology can also be explained by unknown aspects of Martian geology or chemistry, how planets work and inanimate phenomena impersonate life's fingerprints. There are many things we do not know. Scientists say the next step in studying Mars for life is to return some of the planet's samples to laboratories on Earth. There you can find the answer to one of the oldest questions of mankind with the sharpest equipment available. Perseverance rover is already busy collecting the first sample that may contain evidence that the microorganism lived in the Yezero crater billions of years ago. One of Perseverance's main tasks is to identify and collect rock samples and send them to spacecraft. However, placing Martian in the lab does not resolve the ambiguity. Scientists are still discussing what was and wasn't in ALH 84001, the crust of ancient Mars that collided with Antarctica about 13,000 years ago. Steele, who led the recent meteorite analysis, has been studying rocks for 25 years. Could such a geological reaction be the source of methane on Mars? Or the organisms that contaminate the planet or the rock formations of Yezero? It's perfectly plausible, astronomers say. Mars is another world with exotic chemistry and landscapes, and even though it seems vaguely familiar, it's still another world. Debate is a healthy part of a scientific process, adding that it helps scientists better identify the signal of life and develop more tools in the identification process used by today's astrobiologists. How has our thinking about life on Mars changed over time as the quest for life on Mars continued? Life could be discovered on Mars just a few years in the future, so it's probably time to look back on what we expected. With that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.